director and writer Karen Morley is one of the most daring, honest and exciting talent to have emerged in the UK in the past decade. Her unique semi-autographic style blends drama and documentary, fact and fiction. We spoke to Carol at the 2015 Encounter Short Film and Animation Festival here at Watershed on her tour promoting her first book, Seven Miles Out. Here she is talking to Watershed cinema creator about the difference between writing and filmmaking and what film really means to her. I wanted to ask you, Carol, why a book and why, <laughs> why, and why, why a book and why now? Um, well, Seven Miles Out, I wrote, you know, in between making films. And actually, it was my, my niece that suggested it. Uh, I think she was about 16 at the time. And I'd gone through another occasion where um, a film hadn't happened. And I said, well... You know, I suppose it's like books, you know, you write a book and it doesn't get published. And she went, no, it's not, because the book exists in that form mm. and uh, a film doesn't. Like, if it's a script, it's, you know, it doesn't really exist in, in the film form. So that sort of started me off. And, I've, I mean, I think, really, I was always wanted to write, first and foremost. That's always what I wanted to do. Uh, and, and I think I fell in love with film, ultimately, eventually, because it had all the elements of what I loved, music and writing yeah. and um, image um, and people and character and all of that. So it feels like an inevitability, really, yeah. what, what, what it is. But of course it will be a film one day, yeah. made by someone else. R Hopefully right. Andrew Arnold or someone like that. Right. No, we don't know. I look forward to that. <laughs> um, but the, there's something you were saying earlier about um, the whole thing about making a film is yeah. it involves all this paraphernalia and marshalling all these things yeah. whereas with a book there's there's you, you can be creative uh, not necessarily get it published even yeah. but you can, you can well, there's something it's, about it's, writing. it's the low budget you know it's it's you can you can write with a big budget but it's not a budget if you see what i mean so with the with the film you're always conscious of you can you, you know you can't you can't do you, i'm not going to be able to do certain things at the stages i was at mm. you're not going to be able to go to you know, 28 towns or, or like have X amount of people in. So it was a way of do. it was a, it was a, a different way of doing things. Mm -hmm. But I think it is quite filmic in a way and quite detailed. Mm -hmm. And the book begins with an ending, which is the suicide of her father, which is what happened to my dad. He killed himself. And the book sort of goes through the process of living in the shadow of that and, and really what, you know, the kind of details of a life in a small northern town, I suppose, mm. as well, and, and the kind of friendships formed and sort of hunting mm. uh, for the father in these mm. shadows. And I realised writing it that I think the suicide of my dad, in a way, had, is, is the event, probably the very, very sort of significant event that ended up with me becoming a filmmaker because mm. I think it made me start to want to rescue things and to, to recreate mm. things and to, to, to put... Yeah, to, to sort of put back what is no mm. longer there, which I think film is a beautiful, mm. you know, w way of kind of spending a long time over time and sort of almost rescuing mm. life, life mm. events. Mm.